Okay. Hello, everybody. Ben Saber. The practice uh, from what we did last week. Well, first we'll talk about what we did last week. Everybody was, I think everybody knows how to do it already. Everybody is everybody, studying. Everybody, everybody. All right, we'll just practice it. Move, move, move. Move, move. Repair. Opening. Okay. Wait. Uh, Susan. Uh, Susan. She needs to. Um... All right. So Susan, you do. Is that right? So Susan, you take it in your right. You take it. You put extra that palm. And you lay it along your forearm with the blade facing out with the edge facing out and you hold it yeah there you go all right that's how we start okay and here it should face it should point up the uh the tip should point up okay so don't hold it like this or it points back or something try to make that look straight up and down okay all right so prepare Hip left, turn, make your fist, start to lift up towards the corner. Two, sit back, get your hand in the center, uh, middle of your body, by the side, and step for uh, empty stance. So open the corner. Then, close your empty stance and punch out. So seven stars. Okay. Opening seven stars. Yeah. One, and you shift back and turn and start to lift up your hands. Two, shift back and sit. And then you can pick up your left foot and step out. Three, go with your empty stance and punch. And if you I want you to remember, when you punch, I want you to do your whole right side going forward. Your right side, when you step out, your right shoulder is back, your body is turned the corner. You're going to go forward and punch with your body turning, punch, okay, with your body behind. Okay. Now, what can you do? Prepare. Open. Shift and turn. Make, start to lift up your hands, start to lift up your saber. Shift back and sit. Step. Three. Punch. Empty stance. One line, two sides. Okay. All right. So let's see you do it. Watch you do it. Prepare. Prepare. Okay. Ready? All right. I'll just say, uh, I'll just say go. You just do it. Go. Okay, again. Go. Okay, um, okay Rita, I want your empty stance to, to be more, your empty stance is kind of in the middle. You step out and you're kind of in the middle like this. You need to stay in the back, okay? So this leg should be this you should look like you're in line basically. If you're standing like this and then you step out, you are still the same, okay? But if you move, you step out and then you're in the middle. Okay, you need to be in the back on the back of it. Uh okay. All right, one more time. Or on your own, do it a couple times. We'll just watch you. On your own? So on your own. Okay. 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 So, anybody have any questions uh, on that first move? The very, the very first simple move. Hey, Mike. Hey. Hello. Yeah. 
This, this is Cheryl. Um, I have a question for you. Um, in terms of making the fist, I feel like I always bring my arm more out to the side when I open, and I was wondering if that's correct or not, or if it just comes to the hip. No, it comes to the middle of your body. Middle of your body, not, not your hip. The middle of your body. Okay, but it, it doesn't move out to the side at all. It just moves up? Yes, it's here. It just comes up and then forward. Or do you, when you turn, you go like this. Could you do it facing up. the camera? Is that what you do? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so there's, no, there's no reason for that, right? So this is going to lift up. The other hand needs to come up here. There isn't any reason to bring it out and then bring it in. So it just comes straight up. So, okay, so I, I need to rein that one in. I want you to do it. Oh, you want me to do it? Oh, okay. One is shift and turn and start your hands moving. Two is sit back and it gets to that point, middle of your body, and lift it up all the way and step. And three, enter your empty stance, punch. Okay. That was great. Thank you. Okay. I, I, I have a question. Yes. The, the, the direction of the sword, sort of in, how, how angled is it? I mean, what, in, in this plane, is it sort of 45 or mostly that way or by the time I get there? At the end? Yeah. At the end, it's just like seven, it's like seven stars. Okay, so it ends up like there. Right, so, so that's right, so, right. Yes. like that. Yeah, so we don't really have an angle that points yeah. back at it. It's just the same as seven stars for your arms. So right. it would put back more if you were too straight, but you should be kind of circular. So and so and it pretty so much just have point in the corner, but we don't really talk about that. And it pretty much just goes directly there, sort of. It's not going round or anything. I mean, I guess the the pommel it, just moves in more or less. A... It, it you start you turn. Yeah. Your arms start to move. So you start moving. You start to lift up your hand. The yeah. it's going to lift up towards the corner. It's going to lift up towards the corner. By the time you step, it's lifted up, point at the corner, and your hand by your side. Okay. Okay, and then your shoulder, you're gonna, it's kind of gonna stay in one place, kind of, you're gonna punch under it. Okay, it's gonna curve in because you're gonna move forward. I'm okay, gonna bend in just you're moving so forward. it comes in a bit. Great, thank you. Mike, it's Kelly. When you lift up, is it when you sink your weight into the right foot? Is that when the lift happens? I think the lift happens on your count. Three. One, you start to lift. Yes. And you start to lift up your right hand. Two, you finish lifting up and you step. And okay. You to step. That's one, two. A two count for the moving your hands. And then three is going forward. Okay. Thank you. Right. Anybody else? You just get when you lift it up, put it right by your side, not in front of you. Here, not here, okay? Not here. Remember, if you're gonna if we're gonna do things like we're gonna punch, we need our hand to be back before it goes forward, right? You don't want to be in the middle, then you're just gonna have half of the distance to go. You need to do the separation, you know, yin and yang. So keep it back to go forward. Okay. All right, so we'll go on then. Everybody happy? Okay. All right, so we'll do the next, uh, first we'll do the next, uh, well, we'll do two or three today. We'll see. We can go very quickly. Well, in the regular class, we can go very quickly because you all see each other. And now you can probably only see me. So that's actually, uh, so, you know, worse for you. I can see, I can see all of you. If you have a TV that you can project the grid on the TV, that might be nicer than you can see other people doing it. Anyway. Uh, 
We're here at seven stars. This is going to be step back right the tiger. So it's going to be very, very similar to that. All right. The difference is, I'll just show you step back right the tiger. In the hand form, we do like this. So like this. We sit back and our hands go to the right and they turn. Then you shift back and you push, you know, kind of leave your hand out and push out. Bring your hand to your hip. Then you turn and then you throw it up and you land in empty stance. Okay. Uh, here we can't be turning the saber very well. So we're just going to sort of hold it there. But uh, the rest of it is going to be about the same. So from here, we're going to step back and turn our left hand. We're not going to rotate uh, our right hand. We're not going to turn our left hand. Then we're going to pull it back. And then we're going to throw it up and land in an empty stance on the ball. Okay, so it's just like the hand form. Okay, well, because it's just like the hand form, then you know how to do it when you see this. Ready? Just like the hand form. Ready? Let's kind of start. Okay, one. Step back and turn your right arm. Move it to the right a little bit. Two, shift back and pull to your dip. Separate. Three, turn back and swing your arm up. And open your hand. And open it at the end. Bring it up and open it. Okay. Okay. Again, ready? Again, then. Seven stars. Step back by the tiger. One, step back. Keep your hands in front. You're just turning. That's right. Two, shift back and pull your hip. Three, throw it up and open your hand at the end, right near the end. Okay. So, so here, the, the difference is, remember, you got something in your arm. So, he, in the hand form, it's palm down at the end. Here, you're holding on to the saber. Again, we want it to point straight, straight up and down. So that's basically it. Sometimes you might have to look in a mirror if you're new uh, and because you don't have uh, a feel of straight up and down. But uh, straight up and down at the end for your left hand. Okay. Right. okay. So that's very simple. See, so we can just skip over it. Really. Any questions on it? Yeah, I missed what happens with your feet. Uh, the feet, okay, the feet are just like the, uh, the, um, Hand form. So we're in empty stance, the right foot forward. They're going to shift, we're going to step back, okay, and they're going to shift back and turn on, on the heel and lift and lift up. You're going to push yourself back, basically, and then, the, and then land on the ball. That's just like a hand form. Okay, thank you. There is something different I will mention uh, here again, is that uh, our stepping is a little bit faster than in the hand form. So in the hand form, when we step up for both stance, we go heel, ball, toe, bend your knee, okay, like that. And in the in the weapons forms, we basically step out and just go heel, ball, toe, okay, basically. We just root right away. So we go root. Bend your knee, basically. So we don't have the root heel ball toe kind of rolling to get it down. It still does roll, but it, it, it does it really fast. So when you do the hand form, you have maybe a little stiffness holding your foot up. And then you like relax it to get it down. And in the weapons, we more like don't have that stiffness and just put it down, okay? Just pop it down. The hand form is like heel ball toe bend your knee. And the weapons are like root, bend your knee, okay? And there's like no stopping, basically, for the, the rooting. There's no stopping in the hand form, basically, but uh, it's so faster. So here, in the hand form, we might step back with the toe and then shift back a, a little bit and then push back Do the, this. When you step back, you just try to, try to like more like step with your whole foot, okay? So, it's not that big of a deal right now. When we do, this, do it a little more at speed, we, we want it to be a little bit more like just sort of step, 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 that kind of thing, and not roll, rolling into the, into the root. Faster rooting. Okay, great. 
Okay, so that's just um mind maybe. Okay, so that's uh very easy. So we'll okay. go on. Question. Yes. Okay, this is a question for both this and the hand form, I think. But so after we step back and we pull, where torso is to our corner, are yes. you saying that when we circle, there's more of a turn that comes straight? There's a little extra turn of the torso away, shoulders at that end there. And is it just part of a little circle, or how would you describe that? You were calling a turn there, and I just wanted to make sure I'm understanding. The turn is, uh, I, I, I think, it's only just step back, turn in the corner, and then when you throw your hand up, turn back. Oh, okay. I thought you were putting an extra piece of turn there, but you're not. It's just the turn to the corner and then throw it up and turn back. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so yes, it's... it's just like the hand um, All right, all right, then we'll go on then. All right, so from a uh, step back right to tie her, uh, remember there's a poem, and I don't really know the poem, Nancy has it, but I don't really realize how to poem. So for here, uh, so I have the name for it, I should, I should write out the names uh, basically of the movements and then uh, send it out to you. I think I said I would do that. They and Nancy didn't do it. Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. From right here, we're gonna shake. We're gonna be, be in every stance. We're gonna swing and swing our left arm across. We're gonna turn and swing our left arm forward and across and to the and to the right. Okay. And our right hand is gonna drop, and we're going to catch the saber right in our palm. So our whole palm is open like this, and the saber's gonna come in, and you're gonna try to get your tiger's mouth right in the right position, right then, here, basically, okay? Bring it across, and then there. And I think the way I learned it, and so I would just teach it that way, there's a couple ways you would keep your hand in a uh, fist, I guess. I, uh, usually we open it, okay? That's the way we were taught, so we open it. Now we have palm to palm. See, palm, open, palm. And, yes, okay, so palm to palm. So bring it across, get in your palm, you can open your left hand, now it's palm to palm, okay? So that's, uh, take the saber. Right. So from here, I'm just facing you. Oh, everybody, I hope everybody is fine with that. With your right hand, okay, right hand. Turn to the right, Swing your saber forward and across and get it in your right hand. Okay. Upper body to the corner? Sorry? Upper body is to the corner or yes. left corner? Yes, hold your turn to the corner. And then make sure when you get in this, it's, it's a, here's a circle, right? Just a circle. And your body's turned the corner, but you can have your, Elbow bends a little bit, okay. So it's not it's, uh, I can't show. it's not like this exactly. It's more like this. Bend your right elbow. So catch it. Bend your elbow, kind of like when you're going to strike, okay. So, but a little bit lower to catch it, okay. So it's not out in a it's a circle. It's bent. So this drops down and catch the saber. And it's almost in the striking part. It's it's about in the striking. Part. Area. Okay. Okay. Right. Swing it, catch it, and look in this direction. Okay, corner direction. Don't look at your hand, but look in this direction, and then look back. Okay, Nancy wants to say that. You look in this direction. I'll say this. You know, this is just uh, we're gonna run it together. Here, you look in this direction. But then you go back before you do that. So um, here, and then say look forward. Again. So you do turn your head, when you swing it, and then you look forward to get ready for the next thing. Next part. Are you looking at the corner or to your side? Corner direction. Okay. Okay, again, that's very, very simple, right? Corner. 
right? So we'll go on. Yes. Can we just practice a little bit? Maybe put them together or something before we just move on. Uh, we, we just, just, one, just a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. That's fine. We did it a couple times. For here. We just do this one again. Swing it up and across and catch it and look back. Okay. Yeah, on your own, just do it a few times. On your own. Okay, so I want you to feel how this feeling. I'll do it side. I don't want you to go and just sort of point it here from that, like swing it, swing it up. I want you to swing it up first, okay? Up and across. So it's mainly going level across. Okay, so swing it up and then across. And then it will feel like going from out to in. If you just lift it up, it doesn't feel like getting out to in. Okay. Can you can you show me where your right hand ends up? Is it sort of there or there or okay. it needs to be the tiger mouth right near the guard? The thing here. Uh, okay, so like like right that? next to the guard. Okay, can you see it? The guard is right there. Okay. Okay, so so there's right so I'm here. then gonna have to figure out how to get it under there because I can't just close from there. Uh. Yes. Or coming in like yeah, that. Yes. The guard is a little bit in the way, and we will have okay. to, gra to grab it. It's across, you're, you're going across the guard. Okay. And when you grab it, you need to get, you need to like get inside the guard. Okay, that's an that's issue. That's something to practice. There has to be something that's a little bit harder to practice. Okay. That all just do it. Yes, Cindy, yes. Did I go from the... No? Peter, you have a question? Okay, well, all right. Yes, did you? No, all right. Well, you're up in the front. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you have a phone, maybe. Okay. She needs to be able to yeah. see you. I yeah. need to be able to, so I have to come forward to see. I'm on an iPad. All right. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's put this together then. We'll we'll do it. I'll do it the regular direction. Opening and start. Step back. Grab the tiger. Take the chamber. Okay, let's do it again. That's if you're watching the game. Okay. Open. Step the start. Step back. Ride the tiger. Take the saber. Okay, how's that? Who is new? Is it just Susan? You've done it before, right? Yeah, I haven't done it. All right, just Susan. Okay. So how is it, Susan? Got it? Well, I I don't know. If, am I supposed to have hold of the sword with my right hand at the end of that? Because I'm, or, or is there another step where that happens? Yeah, so there's a couple ways I've mentioned this. I, we didn't get to the next piece to look at it. I'll just mention it again here. Is that you take it, and then this is the way I learned it. That you push it forward, and you still have your hands palm against palm. Okay. The next one is where you grab it. Okay, and you take it out of your then grab it. So okay, that's how I learned it. Some there's another way you could do it. You could have it here in your palm, 
And then when you go to push, you grab it and put and, and strike out. Because it is like striking, the next we haven't got to it. The next one is striking with the ring, hitting some the guy, you know. Okay. Bad guy in front of you. So you couldn't probably really want to strike him and not really have a hold on the saber, just be putting yeah. it in your palm. But to really strike, you would want to probably grab it first. But um, I'm going to teach you the way I learned it. There's a two ways to do it. And uh, maybe you can do both ways. That'd be, that'd be fine. Try one, try the other, see which one you like. It is stylized. You're not really fighting anybody. So, uh, you know, the one way looks a little bit more pleasant. And, you know, and the other way, a little more martial, maybe. But um, uh, you choose the one you like. Okay. So, so you can express yourself that way. Right? So, uh, to take it, I take it and I push it forward. My palms are still open. And then the next one, I shift back and uh, whatever. So we'll probably not take that part today, but we'll, we'll do the next one. Okay, we'll okay. do the next one, everybody. And then we'll have a little sequence. We'll do the pushing forward part, okay? Which is very simple. All right, so from you're in empty stance and you've got the saber now in your right palm. On the palm. You step for bow stance and push forward. So basically you just push it forward and you know we might say ring in the center line, hands in the center line anyway, basically to the center line, push. Your arms are in a circle really, okay, not too straight. Okay, that's all, just push it forward. Okay. If if you want to practice the, uh, the second way, while you're pushing it forward, you can try to grab, grab it. Now, how will you grab it? Your hand, your left hand has it. Yeah. Your left hand has it. Your hand, your right hand is here. I was. Uh, we take the sword. We always take it like this. The little finger first. But here, okay. I'm not sure we talk about. But yeah, probably little finger first because. Your the guard is in the way of your two other fingers, at least. Okay. So get grab it, start grabbing with your little finger, then you get your other fingers in and grab it. Okay. And then just take it out of your hand. Okay. So if you want to try that way, when you're pushing it, start to grab it. And by the time you're out here, you have it grabbed. But that's a little bit more I usually do it this other the other time, which lets you grab it when nothing else is going on. Here, I want to strike with it and then have to grab it first. I may, might even want to grab it here. So, seems like to me, but anyway, let's try it on you. So, from here, empty stance. Set for both stance. Okay. Again. Proposed dance. Okay. All right. One more time, Judy. Yes. When we finish, when we finish, is our saber still a little angled in the crook of our elbow? It's not completely flat, right? It's a little angled still. I mean, it's flat against us, but. Or is it, or is it meant to be that the top is really up, completely flat? Right. It's, you can stand. Okay. So standing is the edge pointed up. It's not standing. It doesn't have right. to be standing. Anyway. It, right. It, how your hands can be together, comfortably palm to palm, and it's just in, it's just in the middle there. It's just way. Okay. Between. Great. Thank you. Okay. So the, yeah. the sides of the handle are flatter, so they should be in the flat of your palms, and whatever that is, the edge, the diagonally up. For me, fine. I don't. Wait. So if it were, they were like this to make it stand, it'd be like this, and that's not a good, really a good shape. Uh, this palms okay. a little bit angled down. Okay, right palm diagonal facing down. Mike, are your first, are your index finger and middle finger touching the guard? And they're touching it. The guard is kind of in the way. Yeah. 
Just crossing the guard, yeah. Okay, thank you. Is the oh. sword level straight across, or is there a little up to down from the ring to the tip of the sword? I think the sword, uh, when I do it, I, I, it it's level. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, is that enough for today, Nancy? Nancy thinks so. Okay. Okay. Well, let's practice that from the beginning then. We're not going to practice from the, from the beginning every time, but while we're at the beginning, we might as well. All right, so we'll, we'll try to put together with the previous couple of movements, at least the previous movements. All right, so prepare. Opening. One, two, three, seven, start. Step back, ride the tiger. One, two, three, maybe. Take the saber in your right hand and look forward. Step wider and push. I will say this. Let's we go together more. So from here, take the saber and step, push. There isn't a lot. Uh, they, everything kind of runs together, okay? So from here, take the saber, look, look step, push. All right, when we do it, but we'll count it, we'll be a little choppy, just like learning anything, okay? But when we do it, there's not a uh, uh, big separation, okay? Again, there. Open it. Like the right of tiger. Saber. Okay. Is that calling too fast, Nancy? Um, a little bit. What, what I'll say is, is that when you take the saber, um, you know, this, this form is done to a poem, and there's 13 lines to the poem, and each line has seven characters. So when you get to uh, receive the saber, that's the end of the first line. Mm -hmm. When you push out, that's the start of the next line. Okay, so it's important that you know the names of, of what it is that we're doing uh, because they kind of correspond, not like the sword, where each sword movement has um, a, a name. This kind of gloms together, but you still need to know uh, the names that go along with what it is that you're kind of doing. So when you receive your saber, that's the end of the first line. Then when you go to tongue, when you push out, that's the start of the second well, line. Well, if second line, we can probably finish with the second line. What do you think? Wait, wait, no, no, no. All right, so let's do it one more time, and then I want you to do it. From here. Opening. Fast, right? The tiger. Too fast. Take the saber. Step and push. Okay. Okay, so I'll watch you do it then. Here. Uh, uh, opening to the stars. Step back by the tiger. Take the saber and step and push. Okay, so when you take the saber, when you take the saber, this hand's going to come down. And look, the elbow lower than the hand. So not here, here. You know, when you go to strike, can you do something? We go to strike, our elbow's lower, right? It's not here, here, strike out. So here, okay, elbow lower. So it's kind of the striking 
uh, push, you know, knee press and push position, elbow down. Okay. Good. All right. I have a question. Um, okay. When you when you complete the, um, the the last move, the push, um, is the is the saber uh, exactly horizontal? The, I would say at the end the saber is. Oh no. Okay. Well, I, tell me if I become choppy. I, it looks like it's going to become choppy for me. I get a little messy. Uh, when you push it forward, I think the saber should be level now. Okay. Okay, thank you. And so, so as you're pushing it forward, are you also turning it over? No, it's it's uh, here is more actually laid up. I'm just yeah. we catch it. Okay, so I'm just saying you throw it up, palm to palm. It's almost standing. Okay, when you push it out. It's whatever it is. Okay, it it. It may be tilted a little bit more. I, I don't. We don't really think about it. We're not using the safe. We're not using the blade for anything. Here. Yeah. So you're feeling striking with the ring. So uh, just with level, okay? Just level and not down or up. Okay. okay. And that's. Uh, no. If somebody was taller and you want to hit him in his throat or something, you might do it up. Okay. Yeah. It's where that will be when you're using it. But for this, for the uh, practice, we just do it level, and then it'll look pretty. Okay. Okay. Again. Prepare. Opening. Then the stars. The back right the tiger. Take the saber. And push. Step. Push. Okay. Again. On your you know on your own, just do it a few times, okay? And so go on your own. Okay. All right. So stop. Stop there again. Um, I'll say one thing about the step back right attack. It's just the same as the hand point. Is that when you step back right the tiger, I want you to do this. Tap and turn your right arm, shift back, pull it back to your hip, not too low. It isn't making a circle. It isn't down and up. It's to your hip and then to the, out to the side and up. Okay? So from the side, let me see what I Here, it should look like this okay from the side can you see what uh, an angle here if it looks like this it shouldn't be going back and forward it should be from here just basically almost in a plane it kind of feels like in a plane but you move a little bit but you know what i'm saying so bring just your hip then out to the side and up okay and have have that uh, angle, this angle, and then like a 90 degree angle out to the side and up. And don't make a cir don't make a circle with it, uh, basically. We do the basic, we do a, a kind of circle with the uh, boxy opponent's ear, right? This kind of a circle and, and, and forward. But that goes from back to forward. This we want to go from down to up and not back to forward. 
but it saves a handful. So. Uh, well, any questions? That looks okay. I think everybody's doing okay. What do you think, Nancy? Nancy, thumbs up for Nancy. You can talk, Nancy. I need to get her a headset. Any questions? Um, okay, I'll deal with you one more time and then I can tell you again. Okay. Don't have any questions this time. Opening. Back for a designer. It's a favor. Okay. Okay. Everybody happy? Okay. All right then. Mike. And Mike, just yeah. a question. Um. You're calling an opening and then after calling step up to seven stars is is there a part of the movement that is the opening or is there just prepare and then seven stars but we call it opening or uh yeah I know I guess in the Chinese it doesn't say opening probably it just says seven stars. It's a poem, you know. Right. Okay. It's, I just want yeah. Right. Okay. Right, so, so there's the thing. I'm gonna call it for the thing that you should do. Okay, that's how I will describe it, and that's how I would like you to think of it and feel it. There is a poem that goes along with it. Mm -hmm. And so the beginning of the poem is just seven stars, right? The tiger, take right. saber form, or something like that. Okay. Or some, something, something saber form. What is it called, Nancy? Something wielding saber form. Okay, so uh, that's all, kind of like calling the name of the form. You know, we do uh, in some of the uh, where you have Master Young calling it before he starts the form, he says traditional young family style uh, hand forms. You know, then, then he says prepare to get, you know, again or open him, whatever. So, uh, so the first line of the poem is kind of, you know, after we say what we're doing, a couple of things, and then we say we're doing the stable poem. It's sort of the first line, but. Um, when I describe, I'm calling it, I'm just describing it. So the, the prepare is the prepare, and the opening is to start to move, and then the next, then we're going into, into uh, seven stars. So that's, I, I think, I think we need that to keep us all doing the same uh, actions at the same time. But otherwise, because sometimes you just say one thing, and then you do, you know, a couple things. Involved. Doesn't it's not a one in one correlation at all. Okay. Anybody else? Anything? Okay, so we'll stop here then. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Mike. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Bye Sarah. Nice to see you Bye. Bye. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thank Good night. you. Have a beer. I will. Okay. See you, Tamara. Okay, recording stopped.